This is Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here at the Directors Guild of America for the Los Angeles premiere of the dramatic comedy Petunia here at Outfest 2012, now celebrating its 30th anniversary. with Star Watch Media. It's a pleasure to speak with you. You play the role of Vivian Petunia yeah. in the film Petunia. Can you please tell us a little bit about your character and a little bit about the film? She's uh, one of the first hardcore bad girls I've ever played. She's uh, newly married. She's cheating and she becomes pregnant and she kind of disrupts her own and everyone else's lives in the process. So she's kind of the conduit to uh, unraveling a very delicate situation and it just it gets worse from there. But you know, at, at the end everything wraps up nicely, but not for her. So, oh well. What was that like for you playing the hardcore bad girl role for the first time? It was nice. Uh, you know, I just kind of embraced it. I, uh, somewhere along the line during rehearsals because it became this search to like, well, let's try and find the heart of her, you know, what makes her okay or like somewhat likable. And then I, I kind of made the decision like, no, that's the exact opposite. This role, the whole purpose of this role is to be that one that actually nobody likes. Like she's always there. She's in your life and main part of your life. You just can't stand her. And you try to like her and try to think, no, she's all right. She's not that bad. No, she really is. <laughs> Can you see playing more bad girls in the future? Did you did you kind of embrace the role as you were playing it during I, filming? I did embrace it because you know so many of my other roles were like good or I mean apart from like Enid who was just sarcastic. She's like Vivian is actually like really dangerous. You know she's kind of one of those toxic girls. And um, so I don't know if I'd like to do it that way again. Maybe something a little bit more vampy and a little bit like you know like a Catwoman type or something like that, but not not really bad, just like someone you can't stand. I, I, I've probably had enough with that. Can you see returning to theater at any point? You had some off-Broadway experience with Dracula. Can you see returning to theater at any point in your career? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm totally not against it. I mean, that whole situation was extremely bizarre, and honestly, it just wasn't coming together well anyway. So I, it would be nice to sink myself into something a little bit more actually theatrical and a little bit more dramatic, more in tune with, you know, what the theater world really embodies. So, yeah, it would be nice to find something that, you know, is, is more truer to the art form. Upcoming projects for you that we can see you in? Yeah, I actually started writing some of my own stuff. So I'm, I'm also in pre-production on, on one thing that I can't really say yet because the deal's not done. But also, like, I, I wrote... Uh, <laughs> I'm in the middle of writing a screenplay, so I'll just put it that way. Thank you so much for the time, Thora. Enjoy the screening. Congratulations. Thank you.